Hey guys, Portia here, and today I will be sublimating on jewelry. So in this package, we have a setup to do earrings, and the package came with various shapes to sublimate on, as well as some embellishments. You got your hooks here, your jump rings, and then actually things to package the finished earrings up. So that's kind of dope. And in this package, we're gonna be working with pendants. And the great thing about this is we have multiple colors to work with. So depending upon what your vision is, you can go with the gold, the silver, or the rose gold. So yeah, I thought these would be kind of fun. So I will put a link down there in the description so that you'll know exactly where I got these items from. Now, let's go ahead and set this aside. Okay guys, so as far as designs, we are going to do two pair of earrings um, in a floral watercolor print. So that's that. And then I'm gonna do two different pendants and the pendants are gonna be front and back. And then I will be pulling them out of the package in a moment so that you can see. But let's go ahead and get the earrings that we're gonna be sublimating on. And I wanna do a pair of teardrops. And I think I wanna go with some circles. So we're gonna do that. And then let's do a a gold pendant and a silver one. I'm gonna go ahead and move everything out of the way. Now with the earrings, you're going to want to remove the plastic coating that comes on to protect the sublimation surface. i just take my tweezers there and then we're able to pull that off. And I do wanna to avoid touching the surface. See, it's nice and shiny. So let's go ahead and get all of those off. All right, and that is the last one. All right, let's go ahead and open up the pendants. So we have our chain here, the pendant itself. And like I mentioned, this does spin, which is kind of cool. If I can get it to spin here, there you go. And then we have the sticky insert and then the front and back insert for the pendants and so. And then these little hearts do have the clear plastic um, protective layer or sticky uh, layer on there. So you definitely are going to want to remove that and not sublimate on it because I have done that before. And I'm like, this is broke, but it was user error. So let's go ahead and get that off of everything. Okay guys, so now we have all of our sublimation surfaces. So what we're gonna do is prepare all of our surfaces by taping down their patterns. We are all taped down. We're gonna go ahead and press the inserts for the pendant first, because this is only gonna require one press. Now, as far as the earrings, because we have a front and the back, I did print out four images per, uh, per pair, so to speak. So we're gonna do one side first, as far as the press, and then we'll tape down again and do the other side. Let's go ahead and move on to the heat press. All right, so I put down some parchment paper so that I won't get any ink on the pad here. And we have each of our heart inserts. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn those over. And we are going to press at 365 for 60 seconds. Uh oh, y'all. We didn't stuck to the top there. See? But it's okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get our earrings all right so lesson learned from the last press i did go ahead and trim off my tape edges so that we won't be sticking to the top and once again we are going to press these at 365 for 60 seconds all right that did better they still jumped around y'all but <laughs> it was definitely better All right, it is time to prepare the earrings for their part two. All right, guys, we are off the press and it is time 
to get our pieces ready for the next step, which is assembly. All right guys, so I wanna work on my pendant first and one side is going to be a photo of my husband and I. And the other side is a quote from Harry Potter, more specifically Severus Snape. And it says, after all this time and always. So I love that. I just thought that was kind of cool. So I'm going to put that on the silver pendant. And the first thing that we need to do is to get our tape down. So this is like a double-sided tape. So we are going to tape this and these tweezers come in handy. So we're gonna put this here. All right, I think that looks decent, y'all. Then we're gonna pull off the other side. All right, and I am going to get my little heart here. Place that in there. All right, looks good, and I'm gonna press it down really, really well. Make sure it doesn't come out. And then we are going to do it all over again. All right, guys, let's go ahead and assemble our earrings here. And so we have our jump rings, as I mentioned, and then we have our hooks for the ears. And I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers to help guide the jump ring through our hole here in the earring. So I used to dabble in jewelry making, which is why I have these tools. Just makes life a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna grab my other one and just close the other side here. And just like that, we have one earring down. Now this package did come with some extra embellishment, embellishments, so you could add those if you want to. I didn't want to use those today, but it is certainly an option. So let's just go ahead and get the rest done. All right, that's that. I am loving these guys. So I do have a denim dress that I think these earrings will look super cute with, but I just like this pattern in the colorway. So I don't have anything that matches this, but it's a good excuse to buy a new shirt or something. Let's go ahead and get the chains on our pendants here. Now, the other thing I wanna check out is this package came with the things that like, so say for instance, you wanna sell these for retail or at different fairs, different things like that. It has the cards for us to set those up on and I wanna check it out and see how that looks. All right, y'all, we are all done. So like I said, I want to see what the retail packaging look like and I really like it here. So it's just a sheet of cellophane here and it has like a sticky side and you put your package in there, your earrings, and then you fold it up and you're all done. Um, and also you could add on your own branding somewhere around here if you wanted to, but I think this looks really, really nice, especially if you're giving as a gift. You know, Mother's Day is coming up, y'all. Um, and check it out, these earrings. Like I said, I think these are my favorite because of the denim look, but I think they came out great as well. And so we have the pendant here. Um, I really love the spinny feature. It says, never hide your wings. And so that's on the one side. And the other side, we have a pretty pink butterfly. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And then I read this to you guys a little bit earlier, but I think this one came out really nice too. I think I have a favorite amongst the two and it is this one. So yeah, my husband and I have been married for almost 21 years. But yeah guys, this is all I have for you today. Just want to share with you all my experience sublimating on jewelry. 
had a good time doing it and it was super easy to do. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, just plain old entertaining, could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up? But guys, as always, until next time, peace.